What's up guys, it's Dakota and this is a short video or I plan on being a short video. Um, just got a, a rambling thing. I haven't posted a video I think in like two weeks or something since uh, since I went to Grand Prix Indy. Um, got a recap on that really quick uh, in this video before I go into talking what I'm talking about. I went 3-4 uh, and it um, dropped after I lost my fourth match or yeah my fourth match. Um, I had a lot of fun, I met a lot of cool people, um, I guess if they somehow see this, uh, hello, hi, um, but yeah, it was it was super cool, super fun, I'm gonna try to make another video um, about it, kind of talking about uh, what I learned from it, but um, just really, really quick before I actually start the video, um, I went 3-4, I went uh, played really good, uh, the people I played against were uh, really good and I'll, overall I had a lot of fun and I definitely recommend doing it if you have the opportunity to. Um, now into what I actually want to talk about in the video. Um, I've been seeing stuff on, uh, or hearing from more people and like seeing stuff on uh, Facebook and you know stuff like that because I, like I like to peruse the social medias, that's the kind of person I am. And um, God, that sounds so weird. But um, just people talking about like getting tattoos and how they don't want negative feedback from them or they don't want to hear about it from people and this is me kind of like presenting both sides of the argument and more or less I forget my finger in the way more or less trying to get people to understand why both sides might think the way that they do um one uh Honestly, I'm I'm for having tattoos, and I think it's dumb when people say like they're gonna look bad and that they might not look as good when you get older. Um, I don't want to think of them like that because it's something that's on on my body. I I think it looks good, or I like it. Some people don't, but for for me personally, I like all the tattoos that I have. The few that I do have, I want to get more. And I don't like it when people say that they look bad or that they could be better. I mean, it might be true, but I, I, I don't want to hear about it. But that's people's opinions. And as much as, I've, I mean, personally, it doesn't really bother me. I, I would like it if you didn't say that my tattoos look bad because, of course, I got them for a reason. I like them. But that's that's your opinion. And what I want people to see as far as like the people like me who are people like from my generation that like getting tattoos and like getting one like every month or every other month and just getting tattoos from getting tattooed rather from head to toe um be careful with what you get because you don't want to you don't want to get something stupid and and meaningless and there's a lot of people that do do that and that's people's experiences with tattoos because there's a lot of people that have gotten tattoos where it's just like oh it's an impulse I think it looks cool now but then all of a sudden eh, it doesn't look nearly as good or you know they got older and doesn't look look that good at all you know it's like they don't want people to grow up with like this thing that's permanently on their body and they just don't like it anymore on on another on another uh, note too, um, people do really get dumb tattoos. Like they get tattoos on their face, or they get them on their on their necks, and it's like uh, I don't know, like an, an alien getting stabbed by a, getting stabbed by a guy with a fish or something. You know, it's like um, there's there's no problem with having tattoos like visible and showing like on your like on your arms or on your on. Um, on your neck or whatever even I would say or, or your wrists or whatever that's fine I don't think that's a bad idea as long as it's not harmful or just obscene to people like you don't you get a tattoo because you want it but at the same time you don't want it to to be so out there and so just meaningless that it just looks bad and it looks bad on you so that's uh, that's kind of what I think people that don't like tattoos or say that tattoos are bad because they either from their own personal experiences have bad tattoos that they really regret getting and 
them not having the technology to be able to either uh, get it removed or something that they would want that could cover it up. But that's probably a few possibilities or what I think would be like the best reasons for it. And then you also have the people that grew up not getting them and that's, you know, that's, that's them, that's people. Like people have their own opinions. Um, that's honestly for another video, but people have their opinions. They're going to tell you what they think and you have a responsibility as a person doing what you're doing to take whatever kind of criticism or opinions come your way, whether they're constructive criticism or whether it's constructive criticism or it's someone's opinion that you don't necessarily agree with or someone's opinion that you agree with. Because we always want to hear like, oh, it looks fantastic or, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Where'd you get it from? It, that's not, not everyone's like that. And that's what people need to realize also when you're the person getting the tattoo that not everyone is going to agree or like with what you have and you shouldn't actively try to just like stop people from from saying like okay it looks like uh, or I don't I don't like it or I I don't think it looks as good I think it could have been done better you know even though it's the kind of stuff we don't want to hear or that you want to hear um, it's important to know that it's it's out there that there are people that aren't going to agree with you and it's kind of like on a small scale like getting a tattoo like well, why does that matter if you don't like it or not it's on my body you know who who cares I mean you can say it looks cool it looks bad but you know and in, in all reality like why why do you care if you don't like it but it's kind of like anything else in life where everyone's gonna have their own opinion on it people are going to disagree with you people are going to agree with you people are going to tell you why you're wrong there's going to be people that tell you like eh, i don't care you know this is how i think this is how i think stuff should be or how things should be done and leave it at that and it's just knowing the people that you're with uh the people that you surround yourself with and kind of leave it up to yourself to figure out how you're going to handle that kind of um that kind of negative criticism or positive opinions or negative opinions or positive criticism or whatever because ultimately at the end of the day with something like a tattoo and you getting upset or anything about someone not liking it or not thinking it looks good or thinking it's going to stop you from getting a job or it's going to look bad on you when you're older really it doesn't matter because it makes you happy and that I mean, that's kind of like my motto for life is just do what makes you happy. You know, it's like if it makes you happy going it like for me, it's going and playing magic with a group of my buddies rather than going out to a party. That's, hey, it's what makes me happy. I'm not, of course, I'm going to say I'm not a loser for like choosing to hang out with a group of my friends and playing a card game than going to a party, you know, but to me like that's that's something I would enjoy doing and like I'm gonna remember that night hanging out with my buddies you know playing playing magic and then some of them doing something crazy in one of our games then going to a party where I know like one or two people you know maybe and going out and doing something I shouldn't be doing you know and that's just the kind of person I am you know like don't let people pressure you into doing stuff that you don't want to do and just do the things that make you happy and promote your own kind of positivity in your life and not letting people's opinions get in the way of you being happy. And I think that's where I'm gonna leave this video off now because I kinda I kinda went on a little bit longer than I thought and I kinda um, went off track from what I wanted to talk about. But I feel like something need to be of course something needed to be said this is again my opinion you know I'm someone that's like four tattoos I love them you know I think some of them look great there are some that don't look good at all or some that could have been done better or some that you just kind of think like well why why would you get something like that and I think it's important for people to understand the like when it comes to an issue like this or politics or anything like that, it's always good to look at both sides and kind of figure out like, okay, well, well 
your side's wrong on this, this, and this, but it's right about this, or it's, or like on the flip side for you, like this is what's wrong with mine, and then this is what's good about it. And it's one of those arguments that probably will never have a definitive answer or right or wrong answer. It's just up for the people, or up to the people that decide to make either decision, um, you know, is it is it a good one? Is it a bad one? You know, should I really be getting this tattoo of a clown stabbing a, a clown stabbing a, a fish or something? I don't I don't know. Or should I get this really obscene tattoo with someone uh, someone using the bathroom on on like a tree or something? You know, stuff stuff like that. Stuff that's just kind of like even even mo like something that most people would find like offensive or just in general um like obscene or do you get what i mean it's just something that makes people uncomfortable but i guess if it makes if it makes you happy then by all means do it it's just be prepared for the negative criticism and the op opinions you're gonna get from people no matter how meaningless or meaningful or colorful or obscene it is there's always gonna be someone that doesn't like it or doesn't agree with it and ultimately it's up to us to to kind of get over it to kind of take the good with the bad and move on with life when when possible and just do what makes us happy and now i think i'm gonna actually end this video um make sure you guys leave a like on the video if you enjoyed um make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more i'm gonna try to post more regularly but of course i said that last time and then i went awol for three weeks until the grand prix um it's just getting really busy uh working uh we're starting to slow down now so i should be able to post more um been testing a lot of uh, different decks of Magic, trying to uh, figure out what's standard and playing more modern, trying to overall get get to be a, a better a better player. But um, that's really kind of where, like where my focus has been, and I really didn't want to put this on like the back burner. But at the same time, it's like it's it's more intensive for me to try to make a video than it is to to have one of my buddies call me up and say like, hey, I'm going to uh, going to the game store do you want to come with us like yeah sure like you know I'll go and like I'll play for a few hours and all of a sudden like I gotta go home go to sleep go to work stuff like that so um, be on the lookout for a video another video coming this week um, or at least trying to maybe tomorrow or Wednesday um, kind of just talking about uh, more more game stuff because uh, that's what I want to do that's I want to I want to do more game stuff and I think that's what I'm gonna try to do um, either tomorrow or Wednesday, so be on the lookout for that. Um, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Um, follow me on Twitter, at Crawfish1997. Uh, like I said, if I start uh, getting followers and stuff, I might tweet just dumb stuff, you know, like normal normal Dakota type things. Uh, some people would actually understand that. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, that's it. I'll uh, see you guys in the next video.